What's up guys, this is JFK Aviation 24 here, coming at you with another unboxing. This is a part of the um, midsummer kind of unboxings. So, this is unboxing number two, I guess. Yeah, this one is an order from eBay, and I think I said in the last video what is in this one, so let's just open it up. You want to hold the camera? Yeah, I got it. Alright guys. So, I got this one for cheap. The guy was actually really nice. He, I, when I ordered it, there was um a thing where I could make an offer. So I made an offer of nine of like twelve dollars. The guy took it, took the offer. So I ended up paying the shipping and just the um what I offered. And the shipping was like basically like six dollars. So. But with taxes, it came up to like $19, so I ended up spending 19 instead of 30 something dollars for this aircraft. So, there we go. You can see the box there is another Alaskan, and this one is... Yeah. There we go. And then underneath is just that. Garbage. Alright guys, so, there's the more <laughs> love. Now, I did tell you I was going to get this model. I think, we did. I don't know. probably, but there, I'm going to do a full-on review since this is the only one that's here right now, but, um, the color scheme on the box, it kind of looks weird, because it's like orangey, it's picking up as orange, but really it's red there. Like orange is red? Yeah, and then right here, you can see the pink and purple, that then goes into blue, and then you got more to love. The Alaskan title seems to not be on this one. You got Alaska Airlines, Boeing 737-900ER, 1-400 to 400 scale die-cast model aircraft. Wow, you have four Alaska models. Yeah, which I'll show you in the end of this video. Well, in the end of this review. So, right here you got 1-400 um, to 400 scale die-cast model, high, highly collectible, superior quality, realistic metal landing gear, detailed, detailed printed, printed graphics, as real as it gets features. And then on the side, you got the Gemini Jets logo, then the aircraft and Boeing 737-900ER, 1-400 scale diecast model, item number G GJASA1641. I'll do this more often, like mention all of this stuff in future reviews. And up here you got um, adult collectible model, warning contains small parts, not suitable for children under 14 years of age. And then you got the bar, the scan right there. The barcode. Yep. And then you got Gemini Jets logo here. Same on this side as this side. And then in the back. Oops, sorry. You got the aircraft climbing. Gemini Jets. As real as it gets, you could read all that, guys. Pause right here if you want to read. And you got their... Um, Facebook. There are Facebook. Oh my gosh. Facebook, um, official Alaskan Airlines release, um, licensed product. Boeing, official licensed product, made in China. And this is a 2017 release model. Gemini Jets release model. So, right there, as you look in the flap, it says look inside. But right there, you got the model. And then right here, you got the specs. If you. Want to pause? You could pause there and read the top part. Now I'll get you a better view for the bottom. There you go. If you want to pause and read that too. Now this one does operate here as Alaskan. And to sometimes John. The, the Virgin America. Yeah, because this is the Virgin. I call it the Virgin America and Alaskan merge livery because that's what it really is. Yeah. And I saw it come in before that John Kennedy with my own eyes, and it was awesome. So I'm just going to open this box here, and I got it one-handedly. I'm just going to need to help put it back in, the thing back into the box. Let's see, guys. Ew, okay. I like that plastic. Oh, wait. Uh, got the plastic stuff here. There we go. Wow. <clears throat> Surprisingly in good shape. All landing gear roll, except for really the nose cone is not. The nose one is not really. Eventually they're roll. But look at that, guys. 
Anyway, there's my brother. Put it in. I'm gonna do the review this time on here since it's only one aircraft. And also from the last video, we finally got the scanner. Oh, oh yeah. Actually, I'll show you that on this guy on the stand real quick, guys. Hold on. All right, guys. There you go. There's the uh, aircraft on the stand. So while it's on the stand, I could actually get some nice detailed shots. So we're gonna start with the review here. Ow. What? Actually, I'm gonna do this on the ground. It's easier. All right, guys. So in the front of the aircraft. Hold on, guys. Darn it. Forgot something else. All right. Sorry about <clears> that, guys. Just need to get. The little thing that I used to point out the details. So right here, you got the nose cone. That's on all 737s. Pitot tubes here. Main landing gear right there. Then you got something here. I'm pretty sure it's about Virgin Atlant Virgin America in their merge. Then you got a number up there on the top of the cockpit. Hold on. Let me just focus in. I guess it's the number of 737s that Boeing make. Okay, so it says 493. 493. Then you got the... As you can see right there, it's 493 again, and then 900ER, and that's the Echo E tops stuff right there. A lot of detail right here. Some little specs and like everything. Some side light on the aircraft on 737s. I know that's. Yeah, and then you got the L1 boarding door here. Very detailed. I love that. And you got the windows, basic Gemini Jets windows. Can't really do much detail on the windows because. More too love. Yeah, then you got that nice title. Hold on. Nice title right there, More to Love. You got the escape over the wings, the two escape doors. And the engine. The nice, oh, it does say Alaskan on this one. But it also says Virgin America right there. As you can see, it says Virgin America plus Alaskan. And you could see a little bit of the reflection of the, hold on, right there. You can see the main landing gear. Then you got the Alaskan winglet that's all blue, kind of like the Delta winglet. Which is also all blue. <clears throat> you can see you got the blue and then the red nav light there. <coughs> you got the L2 boarding door, right where it starts to fade into the blue, which I love that fading. You got the L2, and you got the L3, but right here you got the registration, November 9. Wait, no, 493 Alpha S. Forgot what S is. If you know what S is, let me know in the comment section down below. But then you got the Alaskan tail here. Got the Eskimo. Yeah, the Eskimo. Happy Eskimo. Then on the Starboy side, if that is what it is. But anyway, around here you got the first cargo door and second cargo door. And then the registration and everything is the same on this side. But from the top, you can see a lot of detail. Like right here, you used to see some. Specs here, got the, I think a hub there, but when you flip it under, not a lot of detail, just got those, like, two dots there, some ventilation right there, you know, you got, like, those little vents on the side, a lot of engine detail on these models, on these new releases especially, then you got 900 ER at the nose cone under nose cone, then you got the front landing gear, then the two main landing gear, then the rear. With the APU access door. Right, hold on. Right there, you got the APU access doors and then the, the waist access door. But now I'm gonna show you all the Alaskans we have. Hold on a second. Alright guys, so this is all the models. As you can see, the three new ones right here, these three Alaskans, all 737-900s. As you know, the middle one is, well, like the one close to the middle, is a 737-700 that I customly painted. But look at the resemblance of the tails. They look really close. Yeah. Oh, the coloring's off, but... Like, by a little bit. Other than that, they're all the same. And then you can see the special ones are basically the same. But that's all the Alaskans. I will be getting more. And plus, um, this one, I don't, no model company has it in that livery. The new livery. But it does exist. Yeah, we love the pictures of it. Yeah, which is how I got it. But anyway, guys, that concludes for this review. I hope you liked it. Um, comment down below if you want to root with any of these new planes. And I still got routes open for other airports like 
Barcelona and Tokyo Narita and also the ANA down there is operating now so you guys could do um you could get roots with that one as you can see I also have this Delta 737 900 now and so you also, could do roots and then we have planes more planes to come there's still more yeah we're believing Four that they're coming model. tomorrow or the following day after that yeah so expect an <laughs> unboxing probably tomorrow or probably the day after like Wednesday but um yeah guys this concludes for this review Comment if you want to root. Subscribe if you didn't. And leave a like on this video. And I'll see you guys in the next update. Or update, probably an update or a review. Bye-bye.